YouTube, Brian here. Just coming at you to show you a few new discus I picked up last night. Starting off in the 90 gallon tank here. I'm a little bit shy right now, but in the very back there by the uh, heater cord, he just moved a little bit. It's a virgin red. Right below him is a red cover. Picked these up from uh, another local. He's not a breeder, he's more of a distributor, I guess. But, um, and then I picked up two beautiful super eruptions here. These, these ones have paired off, he, he told me. This one's a little bit more stressed right now. His, you can see his uh, fins are down a little bit, but they both look great at the, uh, at the guy's house. They're not a proven pair, but they have paired off. They haven't bred yet, so I'm hoping that um, they may breed if, if I decide I want to breed someday. Sorry for the glare here, but uh, so yeah, that's what I picked up. Good prices, uh, good quality looking fish compared to some of my local fish stores, and yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. One of the new ones I got a week or two ago here hasn't been looking too hot lately. He's kind of blackened up and his eyes are cloudy. Um, this is the uh, snakeskin eruption, eruption snakeskin, I believe. And I'm not too happy about that. He's been real stressed. I don't know why. And then my uh, red turquoise keeps hiding behind these uh, tiger lotus over here. That's not him, that's my leopard. You can't even see the turquoise. He looks fine, but he's just hanging out over there, so I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully I didn't get some bad fish from uh, the breeder that I bought them from a couple weeks ago. But these ones seem to be doing great so far, the new ones. Hopefully I got a pair. They're a little freaked out right now. I'm in both tanks because I kind of came. I haven't been in the, my office all day. I'm not working today. And I kind of came in and um, yeah, they, they freaked out. Sometimes they do that when they're not. I mean, they get used to me because I'm in here working all day, but sometimes I come in if I haven't been in all day and they kind of show signs of stress and they get a little skittish. But anyway, that's what I can tell you right now. Um, oh, picked up a picked up an African yesterday too. Down here, I believe it's an electric blue. Or, or wait, no, this guy. Sorry. This is the one I already had. Uh, Electric Blue Ali, I believe. It wasn't marked and uh, I got him at one of my local fish stores that they don't know an African cichlid from a freaking saltwater lionfish, but I still go there because sometimes there's good trade-ins and they, they get some decent looking fish, but they had no idea what this was, but uh, pretty sure that that's what it is. If it's not, let me know, guys. Uh, those of you uh, that are the uh, African cichlid uh, bosses out there, you know who you are. But I think that's what it is. I'm liking him. He's getting along with everybody so far. Big Sexy uh, did kill another fish last yesterday. It was one of the small grouts in here. I think I'm going to give him one more chance after that. He hasn't taken anything big down, so I might try to get the small ones out and put him into a grow out tank. I literally had him in a bucket yesterday ready to uh, give them away to one of my local fish stores. <laughs> Getting ready to leave and I just couldn't do it, man.